hello everyone and welcome back to my channel this is dr mommy budgets and i'm amanda today i am here to do a quick budget recap for week five december 2021 that will actually go over into january so for those that are new to my channel welcome and for those that are not new welcome back here on this channel we talk about anything dealing with finances from budgeting to saving to paying down debt to investing be it in the stock market index funds real estate whatever it is um, we try to bring to you some information of substance and uh, some practical um, examples. So, as you can see in front of you, I have my week five budget recap written out. We're going to go through these numbers real quick so that we can move on to the most exciting part, which is the mortgage update. All right, this week five budget recap goes from December 31st, 2021 through January the 5th. 2022. My budget recaps typically go from the payday, which is the Friday, up until the following Thursday, which is the day before the payday. So in this regard, we're going from December 31st, 2021 to January the 5th, 2022. So first up, my budget recap also includes items that I did not project in my budget projection so uh, this is going to show you the listing of everything that i didn't necessarily project now for those that are new my week five um, paychecks are normally considered a free paycheck because all of my bills and expenses are calculated in four weeks of pay all right number one family dollar thirty three dollars and forty four cents it's going to come out of the week five pay. Actually, all of these items will. So I did go to Family Dollar and I wanted to purchase the dogs some gifts. Um, yes, it was after Christmas, but I did get them some goodies some toys and some chewables. So that's what that is. Then as I was exiting the store, this is how we came about with <laughs> number two. Family dollar purchase for $5.35. I remembered I needed some batteries, so that is what that purchase is. The third one is the CVS discount program where it is $5. That money also came out of my week five pay. That is a program, like I've said in previous videos, I'm not sure what I'm actually paying for. I know I set it up uh, initially to get a discount off of prescriptions, but I have not been getting a whole lot of prescriptions, so I need to just go back and reevaluate this to see if it is worth having at this particular point. Next and last is um, I purchased a 30 hour driving course for my youngest child, which was $19.95. If they are under the age of, I think, 17. Um, they have to do the 30 hour driving course before getting the driver's license. So that's where we are with that. Now, last but not least, this is the most exciting part. Let me see if I can move this desk up a little bit. All right, which is the mortgage update. So if you all are old, you remember I was trying to get under um, 80,000 or into the 70 thousands before the end of the year. So let's look at the sheet. Okay, here is the sheet in front of us. Let's move this tablet here so we can see. Now this is where we left off. Let's see if I can zoom you guys in real quick then back out. So I'm gonna zoom you in. So as you can see, we left off at $81,539.29. And that was line 102. Okay. So if you recall on my budget projection sheet, let me see if I can go back and find that in my handy dandy tablet. This is what I projected I would pay on the mortgage. 850 which will come from my bill savings account and 850 as a loved gift. 
So that was a total of $1,700. And guys, I was able to do that. Yay! So with that being said, the New Balance, drum roll please. The New Balance I am going to write in is $79,883.29. Yes, let's clap it up. And as we are celebrating together, I am going to grab my markers. So that I can highlight down to that line. So that's where we are. I'm going to have to angle this sheet so I can highlight. So guys, we get to highlight 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So that $1,700 took off 7 more months off of this mortgage and I could not be more excited so yeah let's see got a couple of more lines to go so I can't highlight below oh no hold on that's not correct I should not have highlighted that line because it shows a 79,862, but my new balance is 79,883. So, you know what? Y'all already know what I'm going to do. Since I have highlighted the line, I am going to send in that additional, what is that, $21? Yeah, so I'm going to send in an additional $21 right after I get off camera with you guys so that the balance can be accurate so i will do that that way we will not have to try and erase or remember where we left off so that i will do let me make myself a little note right up in here to send i'm just going to send 22 dollars and that way that will remind me to do that this week so, there you have it, guys. Our new balance is $79,883.29. So, I was able to achieve that goal before the end of the year because that payment actually deducted from my account on December 31st. So, yes, I was able to meet my goal. I am so excited about that. And, yeah, that's really all i have for this video today so i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and come along on this journey with me as i continue to aggressively pay down my mortgage um, for those that are new and old um, you should have by now hopefully seen my video where i talk about how much i plan to pay off on the mortgage this year which is a whopping $35,000. So yes, that's where we are. That Those are our plans. And we're going to go from there. So I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. Share this information with those who need some motivation along their debt payoff journey. And as always, this is Dr. Mommy Budgets, where we dream big but start small around here. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.